Section. Introduction. In this section, we explore the growing understanding of language models and their unique behaviors. As we investigate these models, we uncover various issues, such as hallucinations and biases, which prompt us to develop methods to address these challenges. We introduce a new phenomenon we call semantic leakage, where models generate text that is strongly related to unrelated words in the prompts. For instance, when we provide the prompt, he likes yellow. He works as a, the model might produce, school bus driver, showing how the word yellow unintentionally influences the output. We present additional examples that illustrate this leakage, where the meaning of specific words in the prompt affects the generated text more than we would expect. Often, these leaks result in outputs that seem forced or nonsensical, similar to those found in children's stories. To measure semantic leakage, we propose an evaluation metric and analyze 109 examples across various categories, demonstrating its presence in 13 different models and multiple generation settings. Our findings indicate that fine-tuned models tend to exhibit more leakage, and this phenomenon occurs across different languages. We also connect semantic leakage to various biases that models display, suggesting that learned associations during training can lead to broader influences in generation. While the implications of this behavior can vary depending on context, we believe it is crucial to investigate as it may encompass many specific biases. Our contributions include defining semantic leakage, creating a test suite for detection, evaluating multiple models, and showing that this leakage occurs in languages beyond English. By characterizing semantic leakage, we highlight how prompt construction can unintentionally shape model outputs. Section Summary In this section, we identify and define the phenomenon of semantic leakage in language models, where unrelated semantic associations from prompts unduly influence generated text, leading to outputs that may seem forced or nonsensical. We also introduce a test suite to evaluate this behavior across various models and languages, highlighting its prevalence and connection to other biases in model outputs. Section. Operationalizing the measurement of semantic leakage. In this section, we define the various aspects of semantic leakage. A prompt is the text we provide to the model to generate a response. We identify two types of prompts. Control prompts, which contain no unrelated semantic signals, such as, his favorite food is, and test prompts, which include an unrelated concept, like, he likes koalas. His favorite food is, the test prompts are similar to control prompts but introduce a new concept, leading to different outputs. We know that altering the prompt's wording can change the model's output, and often, the outputs from test prompts are more closely related to the new concept than those from control prompts. To assess semantic leakage in a model, we compare how similar the outputs from control and test prompts are to the introduced concept. If the output from the test prompt is more similar to the concept than the control output, we identify this as semantic leakage. We create an evaluation framework based on this definition, focusing on the strength of the connection between the concept and the test output, while ensuring that other factors do not influence our results. We introduce the semantic leakage rate, metric, or leak rate, which measures the percentage of instances where the concept is closer to the test output than the control output. We calculate the leak rate by averaging a specific function across all evaluation instances and converting this into a percentage ranging from 0 to 100. This evaluation can be done automatically or through human judgment, without needing any adjustments. For automatic evaluation, we use an embedding method to assess similarity, while for human evaluation, we ask annotators to determine which output is more semantically similar. If there is no semantic leakage, we expect a leak rate of 50%, indicating an equal likelihood of either output being more similar. A leak rate above 50% suggests the presence of semantic leakage, and we can compare leak rate scores across different models using the same embedding method and prompt pairs. We create a test set of prompts based on categories and concepts with clear semantic links, focusing on those that allow straightforward evaluation. We also include idioms, which can have both literal and figurative meanings, in our test prompts. 
we manually develop 109 prompts covering categories like colors, food, animals, songs, and occupations, pairing each with a corresponding control prompt. In our experimental setup, we evaluate semantic leakage across a variety of models and sizes. We assess multiple language models from two families, GPT and Llama. For each model, we test several temperature settings and run each prompt multiple times to capture variation in outputs. We remove any repeated prompts from the model's generation and truncate outputs after the first period to focus on the main information, as Llama models often produce unrelated content that could skew our evaluation. We experiment with 13 models from these two advanced model families. For GPT models, we use OpenAI's API to access GPT 3.5, GPT 4, and GPT 4.0, adding the phrase, complete the sentence, to prompts to enhance output quality. For Llama models, we utilize various versions available on Hugging Face, capping the output length at 100 tokens, or 300 for open ended generation. Section Summary In this section, we define semantic leakage in language models by comparing outputs from control prompts, which lack unrelated semantic signals, to test prompts that introduce such signals. We introduce the semantic leakage rate metric to quantify this leakage, evaluate it across various models, and build a test suite of prompts to systematically assess the prevalence of semantic leakage in different model families. Section Embedding Methods In this section, we discuss embedding methods for automatic evaluation, focusing on basic techniques that can identify and represent semantic similarities while remaining independent from the models we assess. We consider three embedding methods, BERT score, S-E-N-T-E-N-C-E-B-E-R-T, -E -E and OpenAI embeddings. BERT score provides a direct similarity score by comparing each token in the candidate sentence to each token in the reference sentence using contextual embeddings. We utilize the distill base uncased model for English and specific models for other languages, such as base Chinese for Chinese and base multilingual cased for Hebrew. SENTENCEBERT modifies BERT to create meaningful sentence embeddings through Siamese and triplet network structures, allowing us to compare them using cosine similarity. For OpenAI embeddings, we use the text embedding 3 large model, which is OpenAI's top performing embedding model although details about its training are not available. To validate our findings, we also conduct a manual evaluation of semantic leakage on a subset of models. We observe significant semantic leakage across various use cases and models, with results showing that all models exhibit leakage, as indicated by values well above the 50% random threshold. This confirms the semantic connection between the prompts and the generated text. We present examples of this leakage, highlighting instances where the generated content is contextually nonsensical or overly focused on the leaking concept. We notice that certain model variations show more leakage than others. For instance, in the GPT models, GPT 4.0 consistently demonstrates higher leakage compared to GPT 4 and GPT 3.5. In the Llama models, Instruction-tuned versions leak more than those that are pre-trained only, with significant differences noted across various metrics. We also explore how sampling temperature influences semantic leakage. For GPT models, no clear trends emerge, while for Llama models, we find that greedy sampling leads to the highest leakage, with lower temperature values generally resulting in more leakage. Finally, we conduct a manual evaluation to further validate our automatic metrics. We recruit two native English speakers who are unaware of the experiment's objective. They assess pairs of generated texts based on their semantic relation to a given word or phrase, allowing us to score the leak rate accordingly. We focus on the largest models from each family at the temperatures that showed the most leakage in our automatic evaluations. Section Summary in this section, we outline our approach to automatic evaluation using embedding methods like BERT score, SENTENCEBERT, and OpenAI embeddings to assess semantic similarities in text generation. 
We also discussed the significant semantic leakage observed across various models, particularly noting that certain variations, such as GPT-40 and instruction-tuned LAMA models, exhibit higher leakage rates, which we further validate through manual evaluation. Section Analysis In this section, we analyze the semantic leakage observed in our evaluations. We compare the results from human evaluations of GPT-40 with automatic metrics, showing the semantic leakage rate for each category. The human evaluation results are presented as percentages, indicating whether the test is more similar to the concept, the control is more similar, or neither. We anticipate that humans will show more tolerance for similar scores, meaning we expect more cases where the test and control scores are equal in human evaluations compared to automatic evaluations, which mainly occur when both outputs are identical. To illustrate this, we use a color gradient to represent the difference in similarity values, where positive differences indicate semantic leakage. We also examine the LAMA 3-70B instruct model finding an average human annotated leak rate of 66.7, while the automatic evaluations ranged from 71.2 to 77.3 across different embedding types. We calculated Kendall's tau for human annotations, revealing a strong agreement among annotators, with a tau value of 0.68. Additionally, we assessed the correlation between human evaluations and similarity differences using BERT score embeddings resulting in a moderate correlation of 0.39. Next, we explored semantic leakage in languages other than English, focusing on Hebrew and Chinese, as well as cross-lingual scenarios involving Hebrew English and Chinese English. We selected the largest models from each family that exhibited the most leakage, GPT-40 and LAMA 3-70B instruct. Due to LAMA's difficulties with Hebrew generation, we excluded those results. For multilingual semantic leakage, we translated prompts into Chinese and Hebrew with the help of native speakers. Most translations were straightforward, except for idioms and names. For idioms without direct equivalence, we created new examples using local idioms. We also adapted names to fit cultural contexts, choosing plausible names in Chinese and Hebrew. In our cross-lingual analysis, we created mixed prompts that started in Chinese or Hebrew and ended in English. We used translations for the initial parts and retained the original English for the rest, translating any names or idioms literally into English. Our results show significant semantic leakage in both multilingual and cross-lingual settings, with leak rate values ranging from 70.6 to 78.4, similar to our English findings. The LAMA model's generation quality was lower, yielding leak rates of 66.5 for Chinese and 61.5 for Chinese English. Unfortunately, the quality of Hebrew generation did not allow for a proper evaluation of semantic leakage. The automatic evaluations for multilingual settings were less reliable due to uncertainties in the quality of embedding methods for Hebrew and Chinese while the cross-lingual results were more dependable as they compared English generations with English concepts. Section Summary In this section, we analyze semantic leakage in both multilingual and cross-lingual contexts, finding significant leakage rates similar to those observed in English, with human evaluations showing leak rates between 70.6 and 78.4 for various settings. We also note that while the LAMA model performed poorly in Hebrew, the overall trends indicate a consistent presence of semantic leakage across different languages and models. Section. Open-ended generation. In this section, we explore semantic leakage in open-ended generation, where we encourage the model to produce multiple sentences or paragraphs instead of just a few words. The manifestation of semantic leakage in this context is less straightforward, as it can appear in various forms within longer outputs. Therefore, we incorporate qualitative analysis alongside automatic metrics. We focus on outputs from GPT-40 with a temperature setting of 1, as this configuration showed the highest leakage in earlier tests. For storytelling, we prompt the model to create a story about a child, using names that we expect to influence the output. 
The stories generated for names like Coral and Melody reveal significant connections to the meanings of those names. When we automatically measure semantic leakage for 23 different names, we find leak rates of approximately 78.7, 60.9, and 76.1 using different embedding methods, indicating consistent leakage across examples. In our examination of recipe generation, we ask the model to suggest recipes based on the color of a pan, treating each color as a potentially leaking concept. The model responds with recipes that align with the pan's color, such as blueberry pancakes for a blue pan and chicken alfredo for a white pan. We notice that certain ingredients, like peppers for a red pan, appear more frequently, suggesting a connection. We test five colors with 10 samples each, but automatic evaluation proves challenging due to the ambiguity in identifying leakage. To address this, we remove references to less than color greater than pan from the outputs, resulting in leak rates of 74.0. 58.0, and 74.0, again indicating semantic leakage. We also reference related work that highlights conceptual leakage in image generation, particularly with the DALL-A2 model. This research shows that ambiguous words are difficult for models to isolate, similar to our findings with idioms leaking literal meanings. Additionally, we note that as models advance, researchers are investigating their alignment with human behavior, especially regarding cognitive biases and priming. We recognize a connection between our findings on semantic leakage and the psychological phenomenon of semantic priming, where prior stimuli influence responses to specific words. We intend to explore this relationship further in our future research.